With continually increasing college tuition rates, many people are thinking twice before spending thousands of dollars to get a degree. History is full of movers and shakers who carve their own path far away from traditional education. Despite what our culture, your parents, or your own inner critic tell you, there are many STEM jobs that don't require a four-year degree. They just might make you reconsider taking out those college loans. So in this video, we're going to tell you top 10 STEM careers that do not require a four-year degree. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick till the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Graphic Designer Graphic designers or graphic artists typically work either as freelance contractors or as professionals that handle the forward-facing aesthetic elements of a company. The modern graphic designer typically works on a digital canvas using programs such as Photoshop, Affinity, or Procreate. A graphic designer will meet with clients to get an understanding for their project requirements, create aesthetically pleasing digital works, and then meet with the client again to ensure that their product is satisfactory and meets their needs. While there are certificate programs, two-year or even four-year degrees in graphic design, there are no hard and fast requirements to begin working on that capacity. If you have a creative mind, an eye for design, and a computer with some sort of design software, you could jump on a freelance hiring network and start working with your clients today. Granted, you're unlikely to land too many high-profile gigs without a strong portfolio, solid references, and a backlog of satisfied customer reviews, but you've got to start somewhere, and there's no better time to start building your portfolio than now. A typical graphic designer who works in, is employed in an office setting, can expect a median income of around $95,000, but as a freelancer, you can expect to make considerably more or less than that based on your experience, skill level, and ability to market yourself. Number 9. Commercial Pilot now, some people think that becoming a pilot takes a lot of time or requires, at a minimum, a bachelor's degree, but this is not the case. All you need is the ability to read, write, speak English, and be at least 18 years of age. Competing your commercial pilot training takes about two years, which you can speed up by flying more frequently. One thing to note, though, is that a major drawback to this job in comparison to all the other jobs on the list is that you have to heavily invest in your training. The average cost of becoming a commercial pilot ranges between $70,000 and $100,000, but in this job, you can earn between $95,000 and $120,000 per year, so it can more than balance out the high cost of entry if you stick it out for the long run. Number 8. Avionics Technician If the field of aviation interests you, then a job as an avionics technician may suit you well. These technicians maintain and repair aircraft avionics systems, the same systems that are responsible for keeping the planes in the air throughout the course of their flights. Now, this job isn't a standard white collar desk job with these technicians working in tough environments such as loud hangars and air fuels, but if you enjoy working with your hands and making a small but critical contribution to the modern aviation industry, then you'll fit right in here. One of the benefits of this role is that aviation trades employees are typically union workers and as such have rules and regulations that can make this job even more enticing. These unions typically offer higher wages, better benefits, and safer working conditions than comparable non-unionized positions. So how much do avionics technicians make? As of 2018, the median salary was $63,060 in the United States, with the top earners making just under $95,000 a year. Number 7. Building Inspector if you want to work with real estate but aren't looking to sell it, then working as a building inspector is something you should look into. These inspectors work in a variety of settings, from construction sites to existing commercial and residential properties to private residences. They must be intimately familiar with local building codes applicable to the types of properties in which they specialize. Becoming a builder inspector only requires a high school diploma. While this may not seem like a STEM job at first glance, being able to understand and recognize all the building codes requires a solid foundation of knowledge about the engineering that goes into erecting these buildings. Things. However, the knowledge and expertise in this role come from on-the-job training. Typically, new inspectors are paired up with experienced inspectors for weeks or months until they're proficient enough to work on their own. So how much does a building inspector make? As of 2018, the median salary was $59,700 in the United States, with the top earners making just under $95,000 a year. Number 6. Electrician if you like to work with your hands and are intrigued by working with complex systems, then becoming an electrician may be for you. Electricians know the ins and outs of designing lighting systems, installing streetlights and intercom systems, and repairing electrical wiring. And now, while electricians don't need to obtain a four-year degree to assume this role, they must go through at least four years of training as an apprentice, followed by the licensing their state requires. So how much does an electrician make? As of 2018, the median salary was $55,190 in the United States, with the top earners making over $70,000 a year. Number 5. Elevator Installer A pretty significant job in the realm of engineering that is often overlooked is that of an elevator installer. An elevator installer can earn between $75,000 and $85,000 annually. 
And if you look at the top paying states, which are Washington and Massachusetts, you can rake in an average of around $110,000 and $140,000 per year. This hefty salary does come with a caveat. However, even though you only need a high school diploma or equivalent, in most cases, you'll need to complete a five-year apprenticeship. Now, the good news is that these apprenticeships are usually paid. Number four, plumber. If you want to make good money and help people out during their times of need, then you should strongly consider this profession. But beyond fixing pipes and toilets, those working in this profession develop blueprints to plain water pipes and fixtures should be plotted in a structure. They also install and connect the piping and fixtures, either working individually or with a team of apprentices and pipe fitters. Plumbers have a solid foundation of engineering thinking in that they need to understand the routes that water through the sewer system and into your home. Another STEM career that employs a similar type of engineering and design thinking is HVAC technician. In addition to facilitating water supply from pipes and large fixtures, such as bathtubs, showers, and toilets, plumbers ensure that water reaches appliances like dishwashers and water heaters. So how do you become a plumber? In the United States, becoming a plumber is a two-pronged process that includes both practical training and study. The process also includes a multi-year apprenticeship program. As of 2018, the median plumber salary was $53,910 in the United States, with the top earners making over $70,000 a year. Number 3. Air Traffic Controller the air traffic controller is another classic high-paying job without a college degree. In most cases around the world, the best days to work in when it comes to salary are New Hampshire, Virginia, and Illinois, where you'll easily earn upwards of $130,000 a year. It might be one of the toughest jobs on this list. However, with the most studying required to get all of the certification done and the highest on the job stress level, the high salary is warranted because the burnout level on this job is quite high, but if you can stick it out, it will prove quite the lucrative career. Make sure you're truly prepared for this level of stress and dedication required for this job, or you'll be putting yourself through the ringer. The nice salary range between $110,000 and $135,000 per year. Number 2. The Nuclear Power Plant Operator this is the first job on the list that will guarantee a 100,000 salary. Now, even though a high school diploma is all you need to become a nuclear power plant operator, there are some additional certificates, licenses, and even a physical exam that you need to pass. Since there are not that many nuclear power plants, the total number of jobs is somewhat limited, and this makes it highly advisable to get some additional training in the form of vocational training or an associate's degree before you apply for any jobs. Before you can get into this field, you'll need to pass an aptitude test, background check, and drug testing. On top of all this, you're encouraged to complete the RO and SRO license, which requires three years of work experience. Number 1. Web Developer Web developers, those who design the face of the internet, don't need a four-year degree to assume this role. In fact, roughly one in six web developers who work for themselves have no formal training at all. Now, those who do have extensive education in this field of work do tend to get paid more in light of their educational credentials, but nevertheless, this is still a job that you can do without spending thousands on a fancy degree. For those who are unsure what a web developer actually does, let me briefly explain. At a high level, there are two different types of developers, front-end developers and back-end developers. Front-end developers work on the public websites we use every day and are responsible for their overall appearance, features, function, and maintenance. Back-end developers are responsible for a website's technical architecture and may take the lead on troubleshooting and major updates. So how much does a web developer make? As of 2018, the median salary was $69,430 in the United States, with the top earners making just under $125,000 a year, with a market growth rate of 15% through 2026. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we'll be back soon with another video.